Why care about bats? Uh, they're, they're charismatic to some, but not everyone. They're exceptional mammals. They fly, they echolocate, they have really interesting reproductive cycles where these little animals are uh, mating in the fall and uh, reproducing much, much later, so they have ways of delaying that whole process. West, the Western Upper Peninsula has some of the biggest hibernacula in the Upper Midwest, and a hibernacula is basically where bats hibernate. So and we were interested in knowing where they're coming from because we have this disease, white nose syndrome, that has been decimating bat populations out east. And we don't have it up here yet, but we're trying to predict how it's going to spread and when we might expect to see it here. White nose syndrome is a fungus and it grows in their skin, on their flesh, and um, it's thought to kill the bats mostly by waking them up repeatedly while they're trying to hibernate. And waking up when you're hibernating, it makes you just waste all of your energy and all your fat. So by the time spring comes, they're just kind of, they don't have enough energy to make it to the spring. White nose syndrome is probably spread through bat-to-bat -bat contact. So when the bats go to their summer habitat, they kind of spread out. And then when they come to the hibernacula, they're all just crammed in together. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of bats in hibernacula. So if you know where they're spending their summers, if they're spending their summers in a place that has white nose syndrome, they might be bringing it back here with them. Now the data are obtained from going into mines and giving the bats just a mini little haircut and taking that hair and then analyzing it in a lab for a specific chemical signature makeup. Um, and the value of that signature can be assigned with some probability uh, to a map of those signatures on the landscape. Well, basically there's natural variation across the landscape in stable isotopes. And an isotope is just a different form of an atom that has more neutrons. So, they vary because of the global water cycle, but as a result, you can take a piece of biological tissue and kind of figure out where they came from. Wherever it's coming in, when bats ingest their meals, um, they're capturing a signature from the landscape, and that gets incorporated into the hair of the bat. So we like it because it's non-lethal sampling. Um, it's relatively non-invasive, and you can estimate, if you think about here's a point on the landscape where all the bats are hibernating, you can estimate from which the area, or we call it a catchment area. An analogy would be like a watershed or an airshed. Uh, what's the geographic extent from which that mine is drawing in bats? We don't have a great sense of what's called site fidelity, that is, do bats return to the same site to hibernate every year? But we could estimate, well, uh, is this mine's catchment area overlapping with this mine's catchment area. Well, it's kind of like if you have a flu pandemic. I mean, you can't really do much about it. And once you have the flu, you can't really treat it. But people are still interested in predicting who's at risk, what populations are at risk, where is it going to show up next, who's going to get it. And, you know, depending on how bad the situation is, because now there's a prediction that some of these species, uh, the one that we studied in particular, the little brown bat, could go extinct because of this disease. So. As you know, it progresses, there might be some really drastic measures we can take to help preserve the last colonies. A bat can eat its body weight in mosquitoes every single night. And a bat, I mean, they're, they're tiny little creatures, but if you think of how small a mosquito is, I mean, three grams of mosquitoes, it's a lot. So I calculated that theoretically the bats in this mine can eat like three billion mosquitoes a night. So if you don't like mosquitoes, you should like bats. When we think about the importance of uh, kind of that pest control, the importance of a lot of insects that are herbivores of crops, the importance um, uh, or the detriment of, of those populations. Bats can uh, have an impact on some of those insect populations. So they're important both from an applied sense and just a general appreciation of, I think, the, the diversity of mammals.